Hello, I'm Kathy McCarran. Welcome to Tire Business News Point, your video source for exclusive tire industry news. Goodyear, like most major tire makers, is researching alternatives to traditional raw materials. However, unlike some of its competitors who are researching natural rubber alternatives, such as Wyuli and Russian dandelions, Goodyear is focusing on alternative renewable sources of synthetic rubber. Goodyear's director of research, Jean-Claude Keane, shared some of the company's research efforts with David Shaw, editor of the European Rubber Journal, a sister publication of Tire Business. Long term we have a project uh, that you uh, have heard of probably that is called bioisoprene. So uh, to, uh, uh, to develop a biotechnology way to, to uh, 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 produce, synthesize isoprene and you also know that we can uh, uh, do polyisoprene in our, in our chemical division. So is it fair to say that your board is asking you to find ways to reduce Goodyear's corporate exposure to natural rubber? Well, in any case, I mean, as you know, raw materials is something uh, that they have been increasing a lot over the last years. So we are taking measures, I mean, to minimize the impact on our cost. It is a very important cost in our industry. So generally speaking, that is correct. And in particular, that is true for natural rubber. I think so. I mean, we obviously know about many possibilities to, uh, to do that. We have chosen bioisoprene and we have chosen uh, substitution of natural rubber with synthetic rubber. And we have also, we are doing uh, uh, research in with the soybean oil, which is not a natural rubber supply, uh, replacement, but it, it's of oil. So we are not working on some other projects like the one you mentioned, because we think the projects that we have selected are the most promising ones. Sustainability. Um, yes. Certain other companies have said that within a certain time scale they'll use half the resources per unit. Um, what's Goodyear's position on sustainability and the potential availability of materials over the next 20 to 50 years? Yeah, so sustainability is something that is very important uh, for us. Uh, uh, so we have a number of efforts going on in, 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 in that uh, direction. Uh, uh, one of them is uh, to uh, uh, use recycled crop, although we are not using much of it yet because of the technology challenges. It's huge not just for us but for the industry. We do already use recycled crop. The other thing is also we do... I want to explore that in, in a little bit. Okay, but on. let me maybe give the three lines that we are pursuing. The, the other one is to make sure that when tires are at the end of their life that uh, they are properly disposed of. Uh, so the end of life tires, so you probably know that in the US and Japan, in Europe, 90% are properly disposed of. But uh, the third one that sometimes is forgotten is, uh, is retreading. I mean, truck tires and aircraft tires are retreaded, and that is a very efficient way to, to reuse and recycle the material because the whole casing, which is about 70% of the materials in a tire, is reused once or twice or three times even. So would you recommend retreading for car tires, for example? Well, that is something that is not very common uh, right oh, now. No. For well, why, why, why is that? I mean, I mean is, is that something that Goodyear could contribute to the debate? Well, uh, let's say, I mean, it, it, is, it is something that already exists uh, now that it is done, but it is only done on a very, very small, uh, very small scale. Is the challenge primarily technical or logistical or quality or getting the right source of suppliers uh, I, that, that I, blocks you using I, more? I think it's all, all, all the above. So there is a technology challenge, it's a cost challenge, but it's also very important. Uh, is, I mean, for, at the end, I mean, uh, we have to look at the value for our customers and consumers. So uh, if we see a, a, a drop in performance, that is something we do not want to do. We do not yeah. want to uh, 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 to reduce the performance of, of our tires in terms of safety, in terms of wet braking, in terms of uh, uh, fuel economy. That is something we do not uh, want to do. Our innovation is always market bag. It starts from the value that our customers and consumers have, and, and, and we go from there. For Tire Business News Point, I'm Kathy McCarran. Be sure to catch another exclusive report on September 24th. Also visit the Tire Business website throughout this week for daily video coverage of the iTech show in Cleveland.